Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve problem 66 of chapter 11 of Fundamentals of Physics. In the figure, a small 50 gram block slides down a frictionless surface through height 20 centimeters and then sticks to a uniform rod of mass 100 grams and length 40 centimeters. The rod, the rod pivots about point O through angle theta before momentarily stopping. Find theta. Okay, let's solve the problem. We use the conservation of energy. So, in the beginning of the, the movement, we'll have the potential energy of the block, that is M M G H and we must consider also the potential energy of the rod. Let's say the rod has length L. Let's use here the length L. And the center of gravity of the the rod will be exactly in the middle position, that is, here. So, in the beginning of the process, the height of the center of gravity will be L divided by 2. So, let's consider this energy. L divided by 2. Here, M represents the mass of the rod. And this potential energy must be conserved. So in the final position, we'll have the block in a position that we can represent, for example, here. And we can compute this height, considering that we have here L, and if we project the rod in the final position, we'll have this height. So, L minus L multiplied by cosine theta is this height in the final position. So, here we have, sorry, here we have mg times this height, that is L minus L cosine of theta plus the potential energy of the rod so m g and the potential energy of the rod of course the position of the center of gravity will be something like here so we must consider this height. This height can be found if we also project here. Let's say here. So this height will be L, the total length of the rod, minus L divided by 2 multiplied by cosine of theta. So let's write it here L minus L divided by 2 multiplied by cosine of theta. With this equation we can find of course the angle theta. We can cancel G appearing in all terms. So let's cancel here. So we'll have m h plus m l divided by 2 equals m l minus m l cosine of theta plus m l minus m l divided by 2 cosine of theta. 
Okay, we must isolate cosine of theta, so we can write here ml plus this term, ml divided by 2, multiplied by cosine of theta, this equals this term, ml plus this term here, minus mh plus ml divided by 2. Ok, so we will have... Here, in fact, if you want, we can isolate cosine of theta, and uh, we already have the, the solution of the problem. But let's write a little bit. Here we can write it as m plus m divided by 2 multiplied by l multiplied by cosine of theta. And here we can, we can, let's see what can we do. Of course, we can put these terms together or we can sum both. Oh, here is wrong, here is minus. We can sum these terms, so we'll have m l minus h. So we use this term minus this term. And here we have plus m l divided by 2. Therefore, cosine of theta equals this term. Divide by this term. OK. Now let's use our numerical values and compute the angle theta. So, cosine of theta equals the mass here is 50 kilograms multiplied by L, the length of the rod is 40 centimeters minus 20 centimeters. So here, 20 centimeters plus 100 grams multiplied by L divided by 2, 20. And this is divided by, here we have M is 50 plus 50. So here we have 100. Let's put here. It's better. 100 multiplied by 40. Therefore, we have theta equals, and let's use our calculator to compute this angle. So, we we'll have 40 times, 40, no, 50 times 20 plus 100 times 20. This equals 3000 divided by 100 times 40. This equals 0. 75 and we want the inverse of the cosine here. So let's here let's put it okay. Okay, 41.4 part one point four part one point four degrees. That's it. The angle. So, here we have the problem. It seems difficult, but in fact, it's a very simple problem. Important here is to consider the position of the center of gravity of the rod. Consider the 
potential energy of the rod. This is important in this problem. And for today, that's it. The problem is solved.